by Fred Barnett will give the Eagles another first down. A pickup of 12 yards, and the Eagles are moving, and they're mixing their plays. Tim Hawk defending that time. And they're also getting great protection. The offensive line was concerned, obviously, with Reggie White. They're also concerned with Sean Jones, number 96. See, they keep a tight end in them to help the rookie, Williams. Then Williams comes out, gives Cunningham enough time to find the seam Barnett with a first down. The Eagles are driving in a scoreless game and a full house here at the vet here in Philadelphia. First down on the Green Bay 39. Play action and a lot of time Cunningham and Buckley with a fine play on the pass intended for Calvin Williams and Terrell Buckley couldn't have played that any better. Very, very well. Ran stride for stride, kept good position, played the ball when it got in the air. You know, sometimes one of the problems Terrell Buckley has is judgment on the football. When the ball's in the air, he'll be in great position, but the ball comes down and he just loses his judgment. Right here, he's in perfect position, understood where the ball was and made the play. You know the Eagles will be throwing at the Packers today because they have three safeties and they're hurt as well with injuries to the cornerback, Roland Mitchell. Second down and ten. Joseph. And a gain of three yards. You know, defensively, the Green Bay Packers were really embarrassed last week. They went in there thinking pass against Marino, and they came out of there thinking, not only did we not defense the run well, but we tackled terribly, particularly in the secondary. Now, this week they had a bunch of people banged up, and they couldn't really practice in tackling, so the first tackling practice they're getting all week is today in the game. McGill and Harris, they have a six defensive backs to dime defense on third and seven as Cunningham goes into the shotgun. Intercepted. An interception back there. Terrell Buckley, Buckley, who has made two scintillating defensive plays on this series, and that stuffs out an eagle bid. If scintillating is good, then Buckley just did it. Victor Bailey was the intended receiver. It never got to him. Randall Cunningham has thrown his first interception of the year. Talking with Zeke Bratkowski, former Packer, by the way, an Eagles quarterback coach, first down after the touchback for the Packers on the 20. And the handoff is to Cobb. Reggie Cobb just gets a couple. That interception, there was a couple things going on. One of the things the defenses are doing now in this league is to show all blitz and then drop linemen out of here. It's exactly the look he got. Watch right here. They're going to look like they're going to get a six all-out blitz, and then he's going to drop back into coverage. Now they're going to go with the zone. You see right there, there's the coverage. Now they got their underneath. Now Bailey turns, and Buckley wheels. Actually, if the ball had been thrown more in a line instead of with air under it, that could have been six. Second down and seven on a passing formation, and a quick drop, and a drop pass. Ed West had it and dropped it, and that'll be third down, and a little bit of encouragement from Brett Favre to his tight end. Well, you can forget Kersh, he doesn't need that. He needs a caught ball. <laughs> this is Dick Stockton, along with Matt Millen of Fox Sports, welcoming viewers around the world, especially in Canada, Germany, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. And we know you're enjoying this game as much as our viewers here at home on the Fox Network. Third down and seven. the first down. Eric Allen caught up with him. Eight-yard pickup. You don't expect Favre to be running as much, but uh, as Cunningham, but let's see where they spot the ball, and it is a first down for the Packers. Well, he will take off and run. One thing that I've always loved about Brett Favre is he's very, very competitive. And if he has to slide, he'll slide, but if he has to run through somebody, he'll do that, too. You saw right there, he wasn't about to slide. He wanted the first down, put his shoulder square, went right ahead. Packers are concerned with their so-called firepower. Right now it's just Barb and Sharp, and they've got to develop some others. First down on the 31, Reggie Cobb with a flag down immediately. So Cobb testing the middle of the line again for a minimal gain. 
that they've not had consistency in their running game for a couple of reasons. You know, they've, they've lost some people in the offensive line that they really needed to get the call here for Lane. Offside, defense, number 53, lined up in the neutral zone, five-yard penalty, still first Bill down. Bill Romanowski. Yeah, so they lose Guy McIntyre and that hurts, and they really haven't settled on the right tackle. Hutchins been in and out. And they really don't have the kind of bat that is the carry the load kind of bat. The one guy who always surfaces in their running game whenever he touches the football has been Edgar Bennett. And I think the coaching staff of the Packers have been learning that, and we'll see more and more of Edgar Bennett as the year goes on. And maybe the rookie, LaShawn Johnson, who's got a world of speed. First and five. Here is Edgar Bennett, and the Eagles were ready for him. No gain on the play, and Michael Zordich, two big hard-hitting safeties. There's Zordich, the former Cardinal. Yeah, the one thing that hasn't changed in Philadelphia is that the safeties will always come up and wax them on. You see Greg Jackson, 47, Zordich there, 36. Now, they have more range than what they've had the last couple years, but what they haven't... And, and lost at all is the ability to come up and whack somebody on the run. Eagles, by the way, are wearing replicas of their 1948 NFL championship. Second down and five. And a flag down and the pitch to Bennett again. Bennett carries out to the 40-yard line. He'll be shy of the first down by about a yard. And yet another penalty. It was Greg Jackson stopping it. Offside, defense, number 53, lined up That's in the neutral zone. the second time in this series that Bill Romanowski has lined up in the neutral zone. You see the difference this year as opposed to last. Now last year, the official would have come up and they would have warned him. You can see Romo right up top here, number 53. They would have come up and warned him and said, move back a little bit. This year they're not going to do that. They're just going to throw the flag. That's the second one he's got. First down on the 41-yard line, and Romanowski with two penalties on this series. Charles Jordan, former Raider, number 80, has come in the game at wide receiver for Green Bay. On the screen, here's Bennett. And Edgar Bennett dives into Eagle territory. He set a career mark with 10 receptions against the Miami Dolphins last week and a gain of nine. Always productive. Edgar Bennett always makes something happen. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. When I study him, there's a couple of things that I see. And first of all, Edgar Bennett, he always got a smile on his face. See, this is not uncommon, but he plays mad. Second thing, he always shows up. Every time you put the film on, Edgar Bennett's always making a play. And you know, the thing is, I like, he's a, one of the best cut men, if not the best cut man in the business. When it comes to blocking, he won't take you high. He'll go take your legs right out from underneath you. How could you be mad and have a smile? Here is far Play action. Going deep for Jordan. Incidental bumping downfield. Farr was looking for the call and didn't get it. Eric Allen was covering a very fast wide receiver downfield in Charles Jordan. Well, in speaking with Sherman Lewis, the offensive coordinator of the Packers, he told me, look, one thing we haven't done and we need to do, but we've got to push the ball downfield. Now, even if you don't get the completion, you can see Sherman right here. Even if you don't get the completion, what you do is you start pushing the defense, and that starts opening things in the middle up for Sherman Sharp. Third and one, Cobb and Bennett back in in the backfield. And driving forward, it'll be close. Edgar Bennett and William Perry. You take your chances when you run right into William Perry, and we may have a measurement, and we talked to him the other day. He's happy in Philadelphia. The only thing, he didn't find any bass while fishing in his pond in the backyard on Friday. <laughs> I talked to him, you know, I said, are you still getting your fishing done? Yeah, every single day. He said, I got a pond out back. I said, he said, a terrible day the other day. I went, no fish at all. Put him in a bad mood. It'll be a first down. Packers keep the ball. You know, we've talked about Bridge Perry there, about what he's brought to this Philadelphia Eagle defense. Two things you have to remember. First of all, as long as he stays low, nobody's going to run at him. He's too big and he's too strong. And second thing he does, 
is he takes the cutback away because if you run away from him, he's certainly not going to fly over there, so he can't, you got to come back to him. First down on the Eagles, 48. Here's Reggie Cobb. And he's wrestled down and a flag. William Thomas. Is that a late hit? I don't know, but I'll tell you, there's a ton of flags so far in this game. Every play, it seems, Matt, that we're getting the yellow, which is very close to the mustard colored on the uh, Packers blue and gold uniforms today. And they're saying it's against the Packers. Mike Holgram said his team practiced a lot better this Holding. week. Offense, number 52, 10 yards from the end of the run. Frank Winters. He's first down. He's the left guard. Which is a switch for him because he's usually the center. But with Guy McIntyre out, they take Winters from center, move him to guard, then bring Jamie Dukes in and put him at center. Already five penalties in the ball game, and Bud Carson is flashing in the defensive signals to the Eagles. LaShawn Johnson. Charles Jordan and Anthony Morgan have all come in for the Packers on first and 15. They've got four wide receivers in there. And when, when LaShawn Johnson's in the game, he's in there for a reason. They want to get him the football. They give him the football. But the Packers close down the middle. LaShawn Johnson, a rookie from Northern Illinois, a third-round pick, and uh, he's got the speed element that the Packers lack otherwise. And the Green Bay Packers have got to find a compliment to Sharp. And if they don't find the compliment, then they've got to say, look, Sterling Sharp's our guy, we know that. Then we've got to figure out a way to get the ball into his hands as much as we can. And so far today, first quarter, he's got one catch. Now, the running game has been working a little bit. But if it slows down, then Sharp's got to be even bigger. Tenth play of the drive. Eagles expect pass. They have their extra backs, but a pass is caught. Rich Miano is all over the back out of the backfield. Oh, that was Morgan, Anthony Morgan, and a gain of nine yards. It was a nice job by Favre of showing some patience and not trying to get the whole thing. He gives himself third and about six instead of trying to go for the whole ball of wax. Now he gives himself an opportunity and not a bad field position to work from. Just about a minute to go. Third down. The Packers are two for three today. They're on the Eagle 43. And the pass to Edgar Bennett, and he'll have the first down. Edgar Bennett got the foot over the marker, and Otis Smith wrestled him out of bounds, but not before the Packers continue the possession with another first. That was very nicely done with Edgar Bennett. You know, in speaking with the coaches, they told me, Edgar Bennett, you're right, Matt, when I said he shows up, that this is a guy that we're really going to start to use more. Mike Holmgren told me, you know, he didn't even know how far Edgar Bennett could go. They have a feeling that this guy has an opportunity to turn into something special. Mike Holmgren in his second year came from the 49ers. Packers have had the ball since Buckley's interception in the end zone. This could be the last play of the first quarter. Favre's pass is dropped with 19 seconds to go. So we'll get another that play. Can't happen. That shouldn't happen for Sterling Sharp. If you're going to complain about not getting the football, and then you get the football, then you can point yourself. He knows it, too. You've got to make something happen. You've got to be the guy that gets the offense going, the catalyst. And now, here comes your shot, and he tries to run. You can see he takes his head, looks upfield. He tries to run before he has control of the ball. But that's the first time they've gone to Sterling Sharp. Second time in this uh, game. It'll be second down and 10. 19 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Far pass. He had West the uh, underman and he had Sterling Sharp back and uh, Favre talking about how that pattern might have been broken off. Yeah, but he did the right thing. He threw it down low and threw it away. Because McMillan had great coverage on Sharp on the end. Favre, four for eight thus far. Third down and ten. Fifteen seconds remaining in the first quarter. going to 
fire and wide open is Reggie 